All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on lesson 27 today, and we're starting on areas of triangles. So I need everybody's book open to lesson 27, please. We're on page 90, and it is a short lesson. So, everybody focused, follow along, area of triangles, okay? You guys have done the area of rectangles already. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle? Big times the height. Area of a rectangle is just base times height. Okay? So for triangles, it's going to be similar, but with a rectangle, you've got an easy distinguishment of your base and your height. When we bring in a triangle, we still have a height and we still have a base. It just looks a little different. Yeah. 
of, of the rectangle, so a rectangle, and we got to take half of that. So base times height, 7 times 6, is going to get you what? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it. The other way you can do it is if keep those two together or those two. You can take half of 6 before you multiply if you want to. Like how we did it before with our fraction. 21. 21, exactly. If we take 1 half times 6 over 1 times 7 over 1, we could cancel here first and then just do 3 times 7. Rather than 6 times 7, 42, and then dividing by 2. Okay, so there's a, a few different ways to do it. Since we've got multiplication, we know the order of multiplication, you can rearrange. Right? So, you want to simplify first and take half of either your base or your height. Go for it. Okay? Does that make sense? Does that sound? I'll say yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do an example or two, and then you guys are good to go. Just one example. Find the areas of these triangles. Dimensions are in inches. So for A, a 4 by 6 triangle. What's my area of a 4 by 6 triangle? Okay? Point on. Okay, careful. Oh. Of the triangle, you've given me the rectangle that's 4 by 6. Oh, and half the base. Half, half exactly. Half. So, what's so 12. 12, exactly. 12. Oh. Dimensions are in inches, so 12 mm -hmm. inches square. Square, two dimensions, right? Square, beautiful. B, same thing, same picture, right? They all have a base of 6 and a height of 4. So for the second triangle, what's the area? Rico, what's the area for B? Destiny, what's the area for B? I'm asking everybody. Come on. The area for B? 12 inches squared. Inches squared. And last but not least, C. Notice that they only use the part that is the base of the triangle, not the extension. And times by 4. So the area of C is also 12 inches squared. Does everyone get that one? Mm -hmm. They're changing it up a little bit on you for A, B, and C. Make sure you're looking at the height of the triangle. The sometimes line. that's going to, if, it's, if it has a dotted line, use the dotted line. But sometimes you're that? going to take this triangle and turn it on its side like that or like that. Or however you rotate it, wherever you've got that right angle, okay, for a triangle like this, your height is over here, your base is up there. Your base is there, your height is there. So be careful when you're looking for the height that you actually use how tall the triangle is, and don't let the orientation, the way that it's turned, confuse you, okay? What about A? That's it. That's what I'm talking about, A. So if you have questions on it, we can talk about it. Yes. Yeah.